Cybersecurity Today brings you the latest cybersecurity news with the help of our sponsor, Trend Micro. Canada caught in a new ransomware campaign and in a gang surveillance network and a black eye for a U.S. security agency. We're bringing you the latest cybersecurity news. Welcome to Cybersecurity Today. It's Monday, April 30th. I'm Howard Solomon. A new email ransomware campaign is spreading around the world. Researchers at Fortinet say it's a spam effort, meaning the messages are not targeted. Instead, they're addressed generally like, Dear Customer. The subject line in the email would be something like, Document Number, or Your Order Number, or Ticket Number. With the email is a malicious attachment that leads to the installation of malware. The initial targets are corporate email servers used to forward this email. These have been found in Canada, the U.S., the United Kingdom, and other countries. The best defense against ransomware, or any email-delivered malware, is to watch out for it. Be cautious about unsolicited email, especially those with attachments, and it's vital you always have a separate backup of your data made in a way that can't be infected, just in case you make a mistake. Meanwhile, McAfee reports some Canadian organizations have been victimized by a separate operation a group that security researchers call Hidden Cobra, believed to be backed by North Korea, has been putting surveillance software on the systems of companies. The suspicion is that Canadian victims have been used as listening or data relay points. The malware that this campaign has installed has not stolen financial or sensitive data, but appears to be there to find out what's on a computer and be ready to launch further attacks. Companies have to make sure their systems have the latest security patches. In addition, because the malware appears to be distributed through email, employees have to be reminded to be careful on what they click on. For more information on this, see my story today on itworldcanada.com. The U.S. National Security Agency has just suffered a black eye from an international standards body. According to a blog on Bitdefender, the International Organization of Standardization, more commonly known as ISO, rejected two new encryption algorithms suggested by the NSA to secure Internet of Things devices. The algorithms would scramble information on Internet-connected devices, like home surveillance cameras and toys. But the NSA's reputation for creating tools to hack into applications apparently gave it a bad name at the ISO. One ISO delegate accused the NSA of telling half-truths in its presentation. If that allegation is accurate, it isn't good. Internet of Things devices badly need better security. People and companies around the world buy tens of thousands of them a year. Insecure devices don't improve security. That's it for Cybersecurity Today. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or add us to your Alexa Flash briefing. Thanks for listening. I'm Howard Solomon. Cybersecurity Today is produced by the ITWC Podcast Network. This episode was brought to you by Trend Micro, smart, optimized, connected security solutions for your connected world. Learn more at trendmicro.com. 